don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to learn memory acquisition in windows using ftk imager so our video will cover the following parts number one meaning of memory reference key number two meaning of memory acquisition number three methods of memory acquisition number four why do we need to acquire memory number five memory acquisition best practice number six is hands-on practical so let's start with the meaning of memory reference key memory reference key is the kind of cyber security investigation to identify unauthorized and anormal activities on computer we investigate victims computer in order to get evidence that's the meaning of memory reference key meaning of memory acquisition uh, this is the process of acquiring the computer memory state into a file methods of memory acquisition uh, there is low format crash dump hibernation file page file vmware snapshot but in this video we are going to to do raw format so that those are the methods of memory acquisition why do we need to acquire memory we need to acquire memory state into a file in order to make analysis of that file so as to get evidence actually we cannot do memory forensic without acquiring a computer state into a certain file thus is why do we need memory acquisition or why do we need to acquire memory state into a file what are the best practice when doing memory acquisition number one dump a memory file into external do not dump a memory file into computer's victim dump it in external device right second best practice calculate md5 hash of memory file in case there is a violation of integrity of a memory file you will notice it by using md5 hash number five number four use a copy of a memory when you're doing memory computer forensic back up your memory somewhere then use the copy of a memory file so whenever you mess up whenever you make uh, or oh, whatever inconvenience happens you just go to take your backup copy it and carry on with your investigation so this was like an introduction which we have covered these five parts so the last part of this video and which is the main part of this video is a little practical hands on so we are going to use ftk imager so if you don't have ftk imager make sure you download it from ftk imager official website so here we go click on a file then capture a memo here is the destination where do you want a memo file to be stored you can browse i want to store this into local disk f but remember for the best practice store it into external device but uh, you know here this is just a tutorial so i'm storing it in my computer so memo forensic then you click ok here is the name of a memo dump so it's best practice to use a the name which makes sense you know use the name yeah let me show you something this is windows 10 pro and the system types is 
64-bit. So I can give a name that this is a memory dump from Windows 10, then 64 bits, right? After that, capture a memory. So this takes few few seconds or few minutes. Then after after acquiring a memory dump, we are going to learn how to get MD5 hash of this memory dump. So if there is any violation of integrity of a memory dump, we will notice it by using MD5. What's more important is that when you're doing computer memory forensic, make sure you, you, you daily check the MD5 of your file working, working on it. If the MD5 hash differs with the MD5 you calculated from the beginning of your memory forensic investigation, you should you should you should dump that file, leave it, and go to your backup. Take a little file because when someone temper your 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 memory file. Actually, you will get wrong information from your investigation. So, I hope this is a common, this is a common practice when you're doing computer forensic, hard disk forensic. We need to protect the integrity of devices on the and the files we are we we are we are working on them. So, in computer memory forensic, we check for investi we check for integrity of files by using MD5 hash. From the beginning of your investigation to the end, you make sure the MD5 hash of your computer memory file remain the same, unless otherwise your investigation is wrong, right? So that's it. Let me go here. Local disk F memory forensic. Yes, so this is the file. Now, memory capture finished this successful. Let me close this. So, actually, we have we are done with we are done with uh memory acquisition so the the last thing is to to get the md5 hash git bash here to get the mem memory file md5 hash so whenever there is any temper we should not see it so md5 sum then we put the name of of file to calculate md5 let me increase. So enter. So this takes about one up to two minutes. So let's wait for MD5 hash of our computer memory dump file. Uh, just when you are waiting for, for me, md5 hash just to remind you of 40 we have covered so far we learned the meaning of memory forensic which is investigation of computer live state in order to get evidence we learned the meaning of memory acquisition which is acquiring the state of computer system into a file we learned the methods of memory acquisition which is raw format crash dump um, paging file hibernation file and a vmware snapshot also we learned the why do we need to acquire memory memory state into a file we need to acquire memory state into a file so as to make memory forensic or memory analysis of file 
and final get the evidence best practice or when doing memory acquisition will end <coughs> will end to that uh, copy into external dump your your file into external uh yeah make sure you calculate md5 hash make backup yeah something like that so this is md5 hash of of our memory file so you can copy this and store it somewhere and when you're doing your memory forensic investigation you should be daily checking if this numbers changes if it changes you know that your file is tempered and you are going to make wrong investigation thanks for watching actually this is an end of our tutorial of today on how to make memory acquisition in windows by using ftk imager and uh, the next video will be how to make analysis of this memory file we have acquired so do not forget to like put comment share and subscribe for next video update thanks see you in the next videos